In this video, I give you my favorite tip to learn patterns for West Coast Swing. What's up gang, Brian B, a West Coast Swing Online. I am bringing you my favorite tip to remember patterns. Now we could get uh, super technical and talk about learning your basic footwork and all that stuff, but you've all been to basic uh, beginner class and you've learned all that stuff. But what ends up getting complicated, for the leaders at least, is where do my arms go in the patterns? So I'm gonna bring Miss Megan in here. And I'm just gonna give you an example of a pattern. And so if I fired this off at you and said I wanted you to learn this, Right, oops, sorry, Miss Megan, smash her in the head. Like, how would I practice that? Well, we could talk about the basic footwork, but one of the things within the basic footwork, once we get to a position, right, where we now have to use the arms, this is my tip. We call this baby steps. So what we'll do is we'll take the footwork out of it and we'll say, okay, what's going on with this move, this turn? So without footwork, what's going on with the hands, right? So we call this a hand path. Um, but we, we actually refer to it as baby steps because we'll get the follower here. And let's say she's got to rotate. We need to learn that this hand is the one turning the follower, right? But then this hand here is doing something. Maybe I'm picking it up, right? And then at some point, I have to then take this hand over my head and then this hand over Megan's head. And then I have to take this out and get to where we're going in the pattern, right? So as you're learning patterns, try to... Um, Obviously, you're going to have to focus on your footwork, so all of the basic stuff is going to matter. Um, turn technique is going to matter. Connection and lead and follow are going to matter. But at some point when you're dealing with just learning the patterns, right, and the footwork has kind of worked out, it's just very confusing to understand where the hands are going. So we'll get to this position. We'll say, okay, eliminate the footwork. We're going to go five, six, seven, eight. This hand goes down, and we hit over for one, right? Or maybe another example where we might take something like this, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. You know, we're gonna go into a dip or something. We'll eliminate everything and say, okay, we've got to this position, we're at the easy part, but now there's this weird move. And so what's happening with this weird move? Like, how do we sort that out? So we'll say, okay, for baby steps, what's the right hand doing? The right hand's going over Megan's head, and over my head. Okay, good. Then what's the left hand doing? Well, the left hand is going to her armpit and then tucking her into me. And then let's take the two of them together and say, oh, wrong hand, and say, we're moving them both together. Baby steps, right hand goes over, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. And then we go into our dip. Cool? So there is uh, one of the tips that we use to try to remember patterns. And when we teach, and we teach private lessons in group classes uh, for the leaders and the followers to sort out the hands in the patterns. It's certainly not the only way, but it's a good one.